guys, all that work, all that time, all the gas going into this hunt for muzzleloader season. What's up guys, we're out here uh, gonna try to get a deer on public land. Yes, it's muzzleloader season, it's uh, open day today. It's, uh, as you guys saw, it's like 6.15. We're only 40 minutes late, so. Uh, but uh, yeah, I'm going for a doe. Mike was going for a buck, so we'll see how that goes. Uh, we're planning on getting in here. I wanted to get in like an hour early, like an hour before light, but it, that's obviously not gonna work. So we're gonna get in here get set up and then at daybreak we'll probably slowly start moving back into some bedding areas and stuff and just seeing how that works uh, so yeah stay tuned been a lot of them chestnuts right now. I think that's what those are, but uh, it's been just a slow morning, I can tell you that. Just bumped one, guys. <clears throat> right, I figured there'd be one down in here. I just did not know how to approach it. They sounded like a big deer, too. And it was right here, man. I just needed to get up. Get up to that. That tree there. And I'd have been able to see it down in that bottom. Because, because <clears throat> over that ridge, it's a bottom down there. But, uh, it's been a slow day. For movement, and, uh. It's not blowing, so hopefully I didn't pump it too hard. Just not good. Well guys, not going good, not going good. I, like I said back there, I spooked that one deer. Uh, I'm still trying to stay quiet because we're still, there's still a chance of seeing uh, some deer, but it just, I mean, there's all sorts of chestnuts and stuff on the ground. And uh, there's some sign, not like, activity sign from like November and uh, maybe early part of December like gun season but nothing like fresh fresh other than a couple tracks and obviously the deer I spooked and uh, so yeah if our lives depended on hunting a deer shooting a deer here today we do not be doing too good but it is steep steep property here as you probably saw or I'll put, or I'll put it up on the screen sometime of the steep gorge we're out next to and uh, there's a good amount of rubs and scrapes and stuff, but just no deer sign, like tracks and fresh sign, I mean. So, I think we're gonna go get some lunch and then head to a new property. Stay tuned. Well, I just got back from the lunch break. Uh, trying to see if I can go kill a deer now. As you can see, we're at a different property. It's still public land. It's all like CRP fields like this, and there's a little bit of uh, open like hardwoods between the CRP fields. I'm basically going up there to scout, probably put the camera away, unless I find some good uh, sign or run into a deer or anything like that. But yeah, that's basically what it's going to be, is just a bunch of stuff like this. I'm going to look around and see if I can find any deer sign going in or out, and uh, go from there try to... This is, I thought I would have both days, Saturday and Sunday to hunt, but it, it's looking just just today, so just Saturday I'll be able to hunt. Uh, so I really need to get a doe down tonight if I wanna get it, get it the last, last deer of the 2022-23 season. So stay tuned. Someone else been back in here. That's what it looks like at least, but this is the, this is the view so far guys. It's looking interesting. I've hunted, I've hunted here before, but 
I think we saw one or two, but at the same time last year, or two years ago, but not sure. There's a little bit of deer sign, like week old stuff, but we're gonna keep looking here. Oh guys, I finally found some deer sign. Uh, it's way back here though. I walked actually uh, 200 yards from uh, where Michael's had up, and uh, we actually took a nap in the uh, in the woods. We found some deer sign, backed off, took a nap, and then I figured I'd find a good spot to set up. But I just wasn't finding spots I liked, so I kept walking, walking, and I, I noticed I was getting next to a bedding area and. I popped up over a ridge and there was a doe, but she heard me. She didn't see me or smell me, and she just kind of, she just kind of trotted off and then started walking away, basically. And uh, I tried to get it on camera, but there's so much stuff and it, the camera was out of focus. So, but uh, so yeah, it's it's thick. It's thick right here where I'm hunting, so it's gonna be difficult getting uh, any footage of a deer, let alone a shot. So stay tuned. Well guys, it's day two. Uh, I can only hunt until about 10 o'clock today, so I'm gonna try to see what I can get done here uh, this morning, like the first two, three hours. And uh, we're going to the same spot I was at yesterday morning, and so yeah, that's about all. We're still trying to grind out a muzzleloader deer here in Ohio. Stay tuned. Well guys, finally got set up here. Uh, sitting here overlooking the bottom. I've been walking most of the morning, so. I haven't got much like camera work done or camera videos took so but right now I'm sitting here looking at this bull or bottom and there's thick stuff that way and thick stuff this way and it's open down here and there's open woods over there across from the bottom so I'm hoping to catch a deer in this bottom the last 30 minutes or so I got here hunting I found where someone else set up like I don't know how long ago but I saw like at the base of the tree they had it all like all the leaves pushed away so I'm assuming it was gun season uh, but so yeah, hopefully we get a get a deer here in the last couple of months. Too. Is that path I was talking about going right up there? It's a, it's a it's a highway of a path going right through there and up the bank and got my tripod got up the bank there and that's I decided to follow it instead of sit over this bottom. But I don't know. I think I, uh, I think I screwed up my hunt a bunch by doing that, by following that trail. Instead of sitting right up here, and like that root clump right there, or even up there on the ridge where that brush pile is. But, uh, either way, when I walk that, follow that pale, tra uh, when I follow that trail on the south side of this ridge, uh, I think I just, I think I just bumped them and they ran down and 
but I never heard a deer blow, run, or anything today. So I'm just assuming that because it's pretty strange that I didn't see a deer back in here. And I'm, I'm a mile and a half walk back, so from from the main parking area. So but I'm gonna keep walking. Maybe get some cool footage of the canyon. I might be wrong, but this looks like cool. This is where I walked in earlier. You can see my prints right there. But I'm pretty sure this is like cool. I'm not sure. I have no idea what that is. I think it's cool. But I have no idea. What's up guys? Day three, yes, day three of Isles uh, Most Lover season. What in the evening, obviously, or afternoon, it's like it's like one o'clock right now, so uh, getting in here a little early for the evening hunt. Uh, there's one truck like in the parking spot, parking area. And uh, but I couldn't see any tracks coming up where I'm hunting, so I'm I don't think there's anyone back here. But it's like a, it's it's a big spot, but it's a narrow spot if that makes sense. So there's not like a lot of spot to move left or right. It's basically you walk up. You guys, everyone walks basically on the same path until you get way back there, and then it opens up to a big chunk of land. But I'm just hoping he didn't come this way because I was hoping to have this spot to myself. I walked like near his truck, didn't see any tracks coming this way. I didn't see any tracks at all, and back here a little bit. It looks like there's a fresh boot print, but I cannot tell. I know yesterday there was someone hunting back here, but uh, I, I I don't know. So I hope I hope I don't run into someone back here. Uh, I obviously wouldn't be coming back here if I knew for sure if there was someone back here. At least if I knew for sure there was somebody back here, I wouldn't be like barging in on them or whatever you want to call it. But uh, I'm planning on going far back, so hopefully hopefully there's no one back here, and hopefully I got the spot to myself. So. We'll see how it goes. Stay tuned. Oh guys, I just uh, I just bumped a deer. I don't know what it was. I don't think he knows what I was. Uh, I'm down here on this bottom, about across this little creek, and uh, he was right up, or she, or he, or whatever it was. It was probably. It sounded like it was just on the other side of those cedars there, like up on that hill. guys finally got set up here I'm 0.85 miles back and uh, I'm set up between uh, there's bedding there's bedding over here about a half mile and private land bedding back there about a half mile and then open woods out in front of me a little bit about half mile but I'm sitting on this main travel door uh, corridor by this pond and I'm only 0.85 miles back but I've seen a bunch of sign I bumped one deer, so it should it should level out, and I should be able to hopefully see some deer finally. The last couple of days, I just pushed too far back in, and I think I bumped some deer. So it was trouble. It was a little bit of trouble getting back in here. I was a little loud, but I think I'll be all right. I don't think it hurt me too much. Uh, and I do got a main. I'm laying back on a ridge right now, like I'm laying. I'm, I'm laying down, and right on top of the hill right here. 
Um, there is a main, main path, but I walked down it about 75 yards, and I just couldn't set up on it. I just, something told me not to set up on it, so I didn't. And then when I popped the ridge, I saw this path, and I was like, there's a better chance of me seeing a deer. I got only a couple shots, but I can see a long ways, so hopefully I'll see something tonight. set up here. Uh, I only got about an hour to hunt. Um, I'm trying to stay quiet because I don't know where the deer are in here. I'm really close to where I hunted the other day. I saw a lot of fresh sign on the walk-in, so I'm hoping they're moving. And this is the last day of uh, most of the season here. Matt. Well guys, about 15 minutes, I was filming, actually filming, a coyotes, coyotes howling at a freaking siren. I look over to my left and I see two doe coming. Um, that's about a 50 yard shot, that's all I wanted to take on it here. I think I heard her go down over the ridge, but I am, I felt confident with the shot. I don't know if you guys heard, but I pulled the trigger once, the gun didn't go off. So instead of reaching for another percussion cap, I was like, heck, might as well, if they see me now, might as well try to shoot, use the same cat and shoot it again and it worked somehow. I don't know how, but I shot the same tap, I mean, cap twice and it didn't go off. It, that's hilarious. But I think she's quarter two. Um, I hope I got it on video. I'm, they were getting broke up and this tripod is really, from four days of using it, it's got really stiff and stuff. So I'm hoping, I'm hoping... 
I got her on video good. I try to get them coming down through the woods, but man, like I said, this tripod was so stiff. But I know where I was sit up 100 yards from here last Sunday morning, and I told myself in the video, I told myself, I think I bumped them. I think I bumped them because I think I walked right through the bedding area. So I circled way around the property and set up right here 100 yards from where I set up to watch that bedding area. I walked through and they popped right out of it and came down through and stood up on that levee I was watching the other day. I'm, like I said, I'm just on the opposite side of it. But I'm going to give it probably 30 minutes and go walk and see where I hit. If I did hit her, um, probably don't reload the gun, just, you know, precautions. And this is my setup, guys. I was sitting right there on that rock, actually leaned up against that dead log, but as you can see, it's my setup. And I'll give you what I was looking at. I was looking about right here, and I was looking over here, and when I looked to my left, I saw her come through these woods right there. She walked down. Around. I tried to get her on video right there by them cedars, but they snuck through. They went down over the ditch actually, and then they, as you see in the video, I popped up and shot her right there. So, hopefully, she's dead. She ran off that drag. Man, I hope I got her. Just reload my gun here. That's another shot. Let's go see. It hasn't been quite 30 minutes. It's been about 10, but I'm, gonna go, I'm just gonna go look and see. Well guys, all that time, all that work, all the effort, shooting the gun, you know, the gas, the four days out being out here in a row, hunting, trying to get a, just a doe, just to miss like that. <laughs> and uh, as you heard in the video, I had to shoot, the, I had to drop the hammer twice. I shot once, click. But the cap didn't go off, so I pulled back, shot again, boom, you know? And actually the day before or yesterday, I drew, or I uh, fell walking down a ridge and landed right on my gun. And uh, and I didn't think anything of it. You know, last night I discharged my muzzleloader and I had to do the same thing. Pull, drop the hammer twice on the same cap and I just didn't think anything of it. I thought it was a bad cap or something. But what I'm thinking is I bent the hammer and may, I may have bent the sight on my gun as well or knocked it off because it's just iron sight and I didn't think that fall would even bother it but uh, uh, I think I missed I think I either hit a limb I'm gonna look in the video carefully uh, but I think I shot just in front of her to the right you know uh, but anyhow I I beat her I mean I beat them two does I you know I beat them at their own game I Found their travel corridor Sunday. Wait, didn't hunt it yesterday because I wanted to let it rest and then came back in today. And 20 minutes after me sitting down, 30 minutes after me sitting down, here they came walking. So, but it was fun. You know, I always like muzzleloader hunting season late, late year on public land because it's just fun like this. You never know what you're going to get. I'm not mad. It's a, it's a 50 to 75 year old gun. It's iron sight, percussion cap, 50 cal. You know, and I looked, I made a fan about 100 yards. Uh, every direction she could have ran 
that I didn't see. I ran, or I at least walked 100 yards. Even down in that ravine or big holler, I, t I thought she fell in and didn't see any slides. I found one slide, but I don't. I think it was from her, but it, she just wasn't hurt. No blood. That 50 cal. If I hit her, it hit it anywhere decent. There should have been. It should have blew hair out the back. And at least I should have found blood within 50 yards. Uh, but I don't know. I shot a buck this year and I found one speck of blood before I found him. But this is a completely different scenario. That was with a bow, and this is with a 50 caliber muzzleloader that should have put a hole in that deer the size of a truck. <laughs> so. Until next time, I guess I'll try to shoot another doe. Stay tuned.